Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Marianne. I live here in Canada with my husband and two kids ages six and seven, and I make videos on simplifying life and motherhood through easy organization and decluttering. Today's video, we are looking at Annie Rose's clothes and her wardrobe. She has been begging to do this video for months. So we're finally getting at it. <laughs> gonna be a wild one. Okay, so we are gonna do a few things. Number one, we are going through her current wardrobe, seeing if there's anything we can declutter, anything that's too small or she definitely didn't wear this winter. The second thing we are going to do is we are going to change up the actual drawer liners that she we use to like actually separate her clothes and we're gonna change them to these drawer dividers. Anything you can do to use drawer dividers would work. Like you can do lines, you can use cardboard, whatever, or just have categories per drawer. So say you have six drawers, you may not even need dividers because you can one, use one for tops, one for bottoms, um, one for jammies, that kind of thing. And the third thing we are doing is we are going to shop our kind of like hand-me-down. So our bin that we already have, that this is the Annie Rose, I found, I've shown it a bunch of times, and it has all her Annie Rose like hand-me-down stuff that doesn't fit her yet. And we're gonna see what she has for spring. So we're basically going to plan out her spring summer wardrobe a little bit and just see what we have and maybe what we need. I have already created like a small little list here of things that she's going to need and how many. So it's just like a shopping list for groceries. I do the exact same thing for their clothes at the beginning of each season, figure out what we have and what we need so I'm not overbuying and I don't end up spending a ton of money and end up with clothes, a drawer full of stuff that they never wear. The other thing I already have too is I brought in our two small um, bags. So this is what we normally use anytime the kids grow to something, I just toss it in here. And I know there's gonna be things potentially even her and her grow into that maybe she didn't wear this winter that are just too small for her already. So I'm gonna put those in there. I want that handy so this can be like quick, efficient, and um, especially when I have helpers with me. So let's do it, let's get started. I'm excited and um, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna have lots of fun and I'm very excited. So let's get started. Love it. So good, Ro. All right. So here you see a quick before shot of what her drawer looked like when we first started. We have these um, Ikea sort of, I think they're called drawer boxes or clothing boxes, but they're basically just little liners that fit in there to keep things organized. And I'm actually kind of sentimental about them because we've had them since they were babies. We had them for both kids and I've actually loved them. They, they have been super functional. If you have little ones or any little items you're dealing with to keep sorted in a drawer, I definitely recommend them. They've been great. However, she has sort of outgrown them. So I'm also happy to do this switch for her. Uh, the one thing I notice anytime I'm watching back like a video of this is how I sort of start slow. So when I'm first starting, like I have a general plan of what I want to do, but then I always feel like I get started and I'm like, okay, where do I start? What? Like, you know, you kind of get that little tiny feeling of overwhelm, even if it's just for a quick moment. And so in this moment or this particular project, I chose to use post-it notes. I don't use them for every at-home project. I do, however, use them for every single client project because we're dealing with like a lot of categories, typically a lot of rooms, that kind of thing. So, but they do come in handy. So if that's something, if you ever feel like you're overwhelmed and try to figure out a way that you think might help, just having little post-its to kind of keep your category straight, I find for me anyway, is a really nice visual to like help me sort of keep things on track. So what we did here, we just pulled everything. This is everything out of her drawer and this is just her current wardrobe. I already have like a bit of handle on it because you know it's deep into the season and so I know what she's been wearing but at the same time I knew there were things in there that we could probably let go of. Like I knew that her her drawers had got like a bit out of hand just like a bit overwhelmed so I just quickly reviewed like is there anything that she I could ask her like hey do you not like this anymore or you know if I kind of pick things like I haven't seen her wear this in a long time like why is that or there were a couple of pants with holes. So those are like easy little things like that to just sort of clean this up a bit. And then I separated some of the t-shirts out to have for her spring wardrobe when we're reviewing that. And next we're going to bring out her bin of all her grow into clothes. And we're gonna sort through all that too. Do <laughs> <laughs> Get my eye. <laughs> Can't see it now. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. So as you can see, this bin is not organized at all. <laughs> it is a disaster. I used to keep it pretty organized. Like I organized by size and style or like season. Um, but I've pretty much got away from that. I think it's mainly because she goes into this bin all the time. She likes kind of like playing in it and sort of sort of let that go. But the two things I sort of do keep separate and organized is that reusable bag that I'm holding right there. And then the second one I have as well. This one I believe is all socks and underwear. So if she has any socks and underwear that are to grow into, I keep them in there because the odd time it'll be like oh my gosh like she's running out of socks or like it's oh my gosh all of a sudden it's like but minus 10 and there's snow and we weren't prepared for this we need to like grab a bunch of warm socks so I like to keep that organized and the other bin I or the other bag sorry that we keep in there separate that is for uh, pajamas and bathing suits and sort of active wear hobby wear so basically gymnastics or ballet like leotards so those are things, again, that like I sort of wanted to keep separate from everyday clothing. So I kept those in those two bags and it actually has been helpful to keep like some, like some bit of organization in this. But otherwise, it's just kind of a free for all. And so the first step I took when I'm sorting through this stuff is just like basically trying to reduce the pile like of what I'm looking at because obviously it's like a ton of clothes to deal with. So instantly what I can quickly separate and the first category is items that are going back in that bin that are basically just like too too big for her. Like stuff that's not actually not gonna wear this summer that I knew instantly and I will share in a second examples of items that I put back in that bin to sort of save myself from <laughs> the chaos of this huge pile of clothing. Leo, who is our older son who's seven, also has a bin. However, it looks nothing like this because he's a typical boy and gets way, way less hand-me-downs. Okay, I'm going to give you a few examples of items that are going to go back into her grow into bin that I am not keeping out right now, but I do want to keep. Number one are summer items that I know won't fit the summer. So a cute little simple summer dress that I know she'll like in the future. It's soft, it's easy to wear, easy to wash, and I want to keep it, but I think it's size eight and I know it's way too big for her. So I'm going to put that into our bin for the future. Any winter items that do not fit her quite this year, but that I know will fit her in the future and that she'll wear in the winter, go in the bin. Next are winter items that technically do fit her right now, but she's kind of done with for the season. So I know they'll fit her again next year. And like, yes, they fit her right now, but I'm not gonna put those back in her dresser because I know it's like a little bit too warm now. It's consistently kind of warmer out now. So she'll, she just sweats in this. I know that she'll be too hot, but I know that she'll wear it next fall. And I love it and she loved it and it's comfy. So I'm gonna put that into her bed for next winter. Lastly are kind of specific like, um, like special occasion items. So this is a t-shirt that a friend gave to us that says grade one, here I come or watch out grade one, here I come. And so Annie Rose is going into grade one next year. So this is her last year of kindergarten. So I know she's gonna wear this for her first day of school. However, I want to return this to the friend who loaned it to me because she has someone going into grade one the year after. So I don't want her to like wear it all summer and stain it because I wanna keep it nice and tidy for them and nice and clean for her first day of school. So I'm just gonna tuck that away and I already know that she has that for her first day. So I know when I need it, I can go grab it. This is a camp that she went to, a summer camp she went to last year. So it's not a t-shirt she's going to wear all the time and she doesn't go to this uh, karate place like normally. So she doesn't wear it regularly, but she might go back to this karate place. Sometimes they go for March break um, for like PA day camps or over the summer. And then over here, I'm making a spring pile. This is her spring pile of items that I either want her to try on for this spring or I know for sure are going to fit. So I want to like see what we have, check our inventory, do a count, maybe get rid of things that we don't need, and then um, and then make a list of maybe items we do need. Like this, like my second day of grade one. The other thing I try to do is I try to make the decisions as quickly as possible, and I try to be as realistic as possible. Like, obviously, like I said, I'm keeping things for like the future Annie Rose, and I don't know her. I don't know what she's gonna like and not like, but there are some pretty good assumptions I can make. Like, chances are she is probably not going to all of a sudden start liking like a brown corduroy pants or something obvious like that so the one thing i'll say is i've gotten pretty good at getting rid of like clothes that are nice and good and good quality if i realistically know she will not use them so trying to be ruthless about that has saved me so much time and so much like angst of having extra clothing hanging around that i am in charge of managing indefinitely I also try to like only make the decisions one time. So there's always gonna be like some 
hemming and hawing and kind of like some, you know, debate in my mind about what to keep or what not to keep. But I try to be like decisive. I try to be quick in my decisions and I try not to like go over the same item over and over again with my with my choices. I just try to like be quick, make the choice and move on. You will see next that I have organized all of our spring clothes and I have laid them all out on my bed so I can see them, so it is clear, so I can count them easily. So I have like sort of a get a grasp on what we have and then I can make my list from there of what we, if we need any, there's certain items that we might need. Um, for items or how many I have, I usually aim to have about 10 bottoms and 10 tops per season. So in this case, it would be 10 shorts, 10 t-shirts. Um, and I do that because we do laundry once per week. So I like to have seven. I need enough to last seven days plus a few extras for sort of accidents or any messes they make, anything like that. For things like bathing suits, I think I ended up with three bathing suits, like tops and bottoms which I am happy with and that's a good amount for us. We don't have a pool. We do go to the beach and we do go to pools, but we don't like have one in the backyard. So we're not in one every day or anything like that. And then another category, I find that it's kind of like harder with girls is they have more categories. So like dresses, for example, I don't have a set number. I, I kind of sort of try to count them as shirts. So I try to incorporate them, but I usually end up with a few extras. Um, as you can see here, I think we're starting with five for the season and we'll see where that takes us. The other thing I try to remind myself is to get like socks for each season. So in this case, I needed a shorter socks for summer. So I just quickly grabbed what was in there and counted to make sure like we had enough to at least get us started for the summer. And then t-shirts was the category you will see that we have way too many of. Like I can't even remember how many are here. There's at least 15 to start, I think. Um, and we definitely brought it down from there. You'll see in a second, I bring Scott in because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I just hit a wall, which sometimes happens. Or I get the point where I'm like, I don't know. It's all nice. It's all good. I think she would like all of it. I'm like, how do I decide what to keep and not to keep? And as you saw, you saw earlier, Annie Rose was part of the process and she still is, but she's also six. So it's very common for her to start something with me. And then she kind of slowly fades out or like has to make, take a snack break or a bathroom break and then forgets to come back, that kind of thing, which is totally fine. She's very good at like helping and make decisions. She's very like pretty decisive with things, which is awesome. However, and I do, you'll see in a second, I do bring her in and we ask her her thoughts on stuff, but I will say Scott's pretty good. He knows the kids, he knows, you know, what they like and don't like. And he's also like, I feel like because he's a guy, he can kind of like make choices with girl stuff. Cause he's like, he doesn't think like things are like cute. Like I do. <laughs> so he's pretty easy to be like, why? Like this is the shirt is so ugly, Mary. like, why would you like this? <laughs> so it made it a little bit easier, but Overall, I think we got rid of, I'll show you in a second, a few items of things that we did get rid of just to give you some motivation for like decluttering if you feel like you're overwhelmed with clothes right now. Okay, and the final step, so exciting, is putting in here new drawer dividers. So I'll show you the brand. Did I show them to you at the beginning? Yeah, I think I did. So this brand technically I think is from Target. And to be totally honest, the only reason I'm actually even using these in our drawer is because I have a million of them. I bought them at like a liquidation store in our town, um, probably like last year, I think. And I bought so many of them because they were such a good deal, but I have not used them for enough of them for clients because they don't they're not big enough for kitchens. So anywho, that's all we have them um, and that's probably why part of why I agreed to this but um, they are actually really good if you have Target um, and you are able to get this brand I got them on a sweet deal like I think they're five dollars each um, and so I love these ones but again you can use whatever works for you what I like about having dividers versus say like those liners that I was using is I can spread these out and make them like my area or sections as big or small as I want so you can see to the far right is we kept that's where her little pants are which are 99% just leggings and so they're small and they were just like tucked into that far right section, which worked out perfectly. And we used the rest of it for shirts and t-shirts and like some bulky stuff on the far left. 
And the other thing you'll notice is we have everything like tuck folded. I've shared it in other videos before. I'm always like try to encourage people to just do what works for you. I know I say that like in every single video, I think, but I really truly believe it. Um, so if you don't care about folding, don't do it, but you can see how handy it is for sections like this. We have this tuck fold. And so she, she, as a six year old is like handling it and it's not getting messed up. We could, we had everything on the bed and we moved everything over here and put it in the drawer and it stays tucked. It is so, so satisfying but here's like an overview of it, how it is after and it actually does look really nice it's just like a little bit more clean and a little bit more like simplified which i really really love okay to finish off i'm just going to show you a few examples of things that i have we have decluttered or got rid of in this session it's more than i expected which always i love when that happens um i'm gonna count how many it is this i know is obviously halloween and i know it will not fit her for next halloween it barely fits now so i know i can let that go the cutest jeans that i love so much technically fit her right now but I, she hasn't i i think i maybe got them into her one time for photos and that's it and they won't fit her next winter anyway so i know i can part with those ones today is actually saint patrick's day while i'm recording this and this is like a green sweatshirt with a rainbow which is very like St. Patrick's Day says so she won't even wear this today. So I know she won't wear it today, then she definitely will never wear it. Another, just too small winter. She never, it was in the bin and she never actually wore it. Um, just, it was never her really her favorite. I kept it sort of as backup, but she's outgrown it now so we can let it go. A couple summer items that were like, these are tiny shorts and they're 5T. I could probably squeeze them into her, her into them, but I have, we had plenty of other shorts. So I know I can let those go. This outfit, it's a summer outfit, fits her absolutely perfectly. It was a hand-me-down from, I think, my uh, sister-in-law. Look at that cute with the little pocket and the buttons, just all of it. Love it. She won't. She even said, I said, can you pick one thing that you like the least? And it was this one. I just know realistically she only likes unicorns, pink, purple, that sort of thing. This was a t-shirt. I kind of feel bad about this one. This one is a type of item I struggle with. At Christmas time, I think, the kids in, in Annie Rose's class with the teacher, it was probably so much work for the teacher. She got all these t-shirts. She had the kids paint them, do little shapes on them, and they think they wore them for their Christmas assembly, which is so cute. But the back, like, because there's paint on them, they're so stiff, like, the front is so stiff, and Amy Rose wouldn't even keep it on for that one day, let alone ever wear it again. So I tucked it in the bin for kind of, like, a keepsake, I guess, but really, it's not that special to me personally, and I know she'll never actually wear it, and she doesn't really care about it, so I'm gonna let it go, but I kind of struggle with what to do with it, like, I guess I'll donate it, but realistically, like, where will this end up, because who really needs a t-shirt like this? Like, what kid would wear that other than for assembly so i don't know if you have any suggestions of anything that what you've done with stuff like this um let me know i'm at a loss for that one for her summer stuff i just picked stuff she liked the least so this one had huge stains on it so that was like an easy pick plain black which i absolutely love but she's not into scott for some reason didn't like this one i don't know he doesn't like sometimes when they have words on them this one I know is a cute little tank top, but the back's like twisted, you know? And she's, I tried it on her a couple times last year and it drove her crazy just cause it felt like it was always like incorrectly like needing to be fixed. Another little one that like basically just out of all of them are my least favorite, I guess. It was, it's a fine shirt, just maybe wasn't my favorite. And then um, again, like just like a glitter one that's my least favorite. This one she wouldn't wear a little, Cute little striped t-shirt, again, simple, neutral that I love, but there's a little bows on the sleeves, which I thought she was gonna think are so cute, but because they're too heavy, they like bump her arm and drive her nuts. She had a bunch of sundresses and basically I just picked one that was maybe my least favorite. It's fine too, like it's, it's hard. I know it's hard to get rid of clothes that are perfectly fine. Um, lucky for me, I have a friend who I can like hand, do hand-me-downs who has two girls younger her with Amy Rose, so I know she'll get used out of some of it. And then whatever she doesn't want, she can obviously just drop off, uh, like she can donate. And then we had two bathing suits from last year. And this was hard too for some reason because she had these two bathing suits that we all loved so much. They were so cute, this little crisscross one. Um, and same with um, this little bathing, little bikini that Leo has the matching one of. But it's just like way too small on her. And then two pairs of leggings that actually had just like a little bit of holes starting in the knees that I'll probably give to my mom and ask her to chop up and sew the edges so we can wear them as shorts in the summer. Two pairs of socks. One were these like 
fluffy fleecy ones you know that are so soft and little grippies but all winter she refused to wear them they even have little ballerinas on them which i think is cute and i love socks like this that are so soft and they just made her feet sweat so bad so i'm like why am i hanging on to these my mom they made her a pair of wool slip uh socks if you guys have like a mom or grandma in your life who likes knitting and will make socks for them like i don't know have you do you have a six-year-old who will wear these i cannot get her to put these on like just it's like once you've worn like cotton socks i feel like you can never go to wool they just like slouch down kind of thing so but someone will love those they're perfect for like tobogganing or skating or skiing i guess this little one piece jumper absolutely adore i'm obsessed with this color it's so cute but i know like i i knew she wouldn't wear it and then i said like what do you think of this you like looked at it like i was like me like i was crazy so I have all of our spring stuff I have put together, organized all. I left a few t-shirts for her drawer, obviously, because uh, like for the in-between seasons. And then I put all of her spring stuff directly in this bag so I can put this whole thing in the bin. And then I, as soon as it starts to get hot for summer, pull the whole thing out. I can just like plop her shorts in the drawer and we're stuck for the season. Every single time I do this, it feels so good. It makes me feel so ready for the season. I hope that gives you guys some inspiration and motivation to do your wardrobes and your get your kids clothes ready for the spring. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and watching and following along and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.